Um, oh, um, we were talking about mobile, uh, mobile games. Sonic Dash has hit the 500 millionth download. And I was going to ask, um, Michael the Wolf 25 said, um, um, I have the, he said that he said that um, the only mobile game he ever played was Sonic Dash. So now we're talking about Sonic Dash. Yeah, Sonic yes. Dash, yeah. Right? <laughs> there you are, Michael, my friend. That's my buddy. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, they, that's, that's a lot of downloads. 500 oh, yeah. million. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty pretty nice statement right there. That's pretty I know that, um, mm -hmm. has anyone ever played the, um, the basis of the game, um, Temple Run, the original Temple Run? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. played the original Temple Run. It's basically, um, for those who don't know, um, Sonic Dash is basically, um, their version of Temple Run, and they can go through, like, any, and, and some of these levels are actually based on different games. I know there's Green Hill Zone, there's, um, um, oh, what was it, what was it, um, Seaside Hill. Seaside Hill was one of the, um, uh, levels, and then there's also boss fights. I remember there was one boss fight with Dr. Eggman, and I remember during the time, I think when Sonic Dash was released, uh, Sonic Lost World was around during that time, so they added in Zaz, one of the uh, one of the Deadly Six, as one of the uh, the boss fights in Sonic Dash. Yeah, um, mm. Sega seems to be determined to force feed us the Deadly Six in some form or another. It's just like yeah, you were lucky this time. I don't know a lot of people that actually like the Deadly Six at all, and yet they still insist on pushing them. They're out them. there. The They're only out there, but Deadly I don't Six know that's still. To meet them. I mean, the only Deadly Six member to, to only to ever stay in any more Sonic games is Zavok. Mm -hmm. Everyone else was just... on <laughs> Zavok is the only one that even has some semblance of character about him. Everyone else is That's just a true, stereotype. Yeah. They're all they're yeah. all stereotypes. They're all stereotypes. They're they're all stereotypes. They just like <laughs> and they all start with Z. They're all stereotypes, but they're at least trying with Zavok. They're at least trying something. And just so you know, the guy who voices Zaz in Sonic Lost World, the same guy, the same guy who also voices Infinite in Sonic Forces. I'm glad they went on to greater things earlier. Really. <laughs> and the guy who, vo yeah, that guy <laughs> is Infinite also Rock. famous from World of Warcraft as being, um, yes, uh, oh, fudge, his name has just suddenly gone out of my head, but <laughs> uh, Illidan. He's also known as Illidan in uh, World of Warcraft yeah. in Warcraft okay. universe. So, so, right. <laughs> so it's interesting just listening to Infinite talk and then all I can be like, Illidan, Illidan. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I researched the name and like, like wait, is that the guy who voices Zaz in Sonic Lost World? Turns out he is. Yeah. That's okay. Travis Willingham is another one who voices uh, Knuckles. Knuckles. And yeah. uh, I've heard his voice in um, uh, World of Warcraft too. I also I actually have met uh, Travis Willingham, a uh, fantastic guy. Um, and I remember um, he said, um, 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 "You know, I'm much faster than Sonic, but uh, I'm but I'm sure y'all, but I'm sure you all know that." I just love, like, in Sonic Boom, that Knuckles is very gullible. I, I just love gull gullible Knuckles. Makes, just, just makes me laugh for some yeah. reason. <laughs> he, he's the funny version of Knuckles. Absolutely. <laughs> Sega Mew says it for a villain like Infinite over the Deadly Six. But oh, it's yeah, because Infinite's character design is more Sonic-like, where Deadly Six look like knockoff Mario. Knock off Mario. The, well, the, the entire game that, is pretty much I, a knockoff Mario game. Well, can, yeah, yeah, Sonic Lost World is basically a ripoff of Mario Galaxy. Yeah. In fact, um, Mass Space predates Mario Galaxy. And that gravity. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Although, I think now that I, when I first heard of Infinite, I'm like, like, I don't think. I probably never took that guy seriously, because there was one time um, where I thought I never take him seriously. Like when he's defeated in the game, he's like, "No, wait, I could still fight." I'm like, oh, honestly, I, I really honestly take this guy seriously after that. No, honestly, I, I think Ethan is just a watered down version of uh, Shadow at this point. Just like no, it does, or just like a like, like a. Who uh, would win in a I'm like, okay, who would win in a fight? Infinite or Mephilus? Mephilus. 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 
<laughs> Hang on to now. No, Infinite is just pathetic, to be honest. Yeah. He he gets whiny at, after being called weak. It's like, I'm not weak! I'm like, oh my god, I'm dude! Not weak. Cool concept, <laughs> terrible writing. Cool concept, terrible writing. Terrible it's like Shadow! Terrible oh my god, I thought Shadow was being poorly written nowadays. Oh, <laughs> 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 my dream. Oh, no, no, no. He's much worse. <laughs> It's like, like shadows, you know, Shadow started off really good and now he's being poorly written, but you know, that's because of mandates. Yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. infinite, there's you know, there should be no excuse for infinite. And infinite's just mm-hmm. pathetic period. Okay, yeah. So Sega Mew says Mephilus would win because Infinite was defeated by Base Sonic, whereas three superpower hedgehogs could defeat Mephilus last Solaris. Yes. Yeah. It just, that is that is true. Yes. That is true, that's very true. But it's, it's like, so um, I do have to say, though, like, uh, with Sonic Dash, though, after, with it passing the, you know, the landmark that it did, it's been out, what, since, uh, 2013? Yeah. Or so, it's been out for, like, a long time. Yeah. Apparently. Wait, didn't Sonic, did Sonic Lawful come out in 2013, or was it later? I, I'm not quite sure. Old. That came out around the same time. I can't recall, but they, uh, and they, I think along with, um, I think it's on, on the screen a little bit, they released, like, new costumes as well, um, mm-hmm. to celebrate it. Uh, with right. The pirates. Yeah, it's all Pirate Sonic and Pirate Shadow. I'm like, ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> At some point, Sonic and Shadow is gonna be, like, Donkey Kong Country 2, the first level, or the last level in Donkey Kong Country 1, Gangplank, Gangplank Galleon. Trust me, I, I, I get exci- if- I get excited when Sonic and Shadow just share any kind of screen time anymore. Uh, yeah. it, that's why I like, I like Sonic Dash because like they have like so many like opportunities like just to give any character like any costume, especially like with this. There's already like so much fan art already. Uh, yeah. With, <laughs> with Sonic art, a bunch. It reminds me of that one sort that from, from Sonic Seconds where Sonic and Shadow are looking at fan art, and at the end it's like oh Sonic, oh, and Sonic and shorts, Shadow. yeah. Uh, that's my, that's my. Ah! Yeah. Uh I may have I may have I might have been the inspiration for that one because Game Buddy used to work for me and um I used to harass the staff with all my sonata antics like all the damn time. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> so that that might have been the and even Game Buddy came up to me many years later and he's like Hey, I want to apologize about that whole Sonata thing. I'm like, dude, I thought it was funny as shit. Oh, wait. I think I, 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 know, why, I, think I know why that they're dressed as pirates. Because today is speed, it seems like today is speed, like a pirate day. Yes. <laughs> I'm right, so I'm I speak, I, I speak oh, fudge, it is. Second language. Fudge! I completely forgot about that. Holy crap. Oh, wow. All right, Doc, let's hear from a pirate. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh <laughs> lord. Today be the right day. Oh, oh wow. You're that really good at that. <laughs> yeah. He speaks a fluent pirate. It's a fluent second, pirate. It's a second language. You win. I, I, I quit. You win. <laughs> 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 you scramble yourself to the mizzen for I cast your guts to the sharks. That. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Did you would look like a pirate if you dressed up like one? You, I mean, you already had to look like a pirate. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I got the hair, so yeah. I just need the, the beard. I need to get the beard. That's what yeah, I need for the to Halloween do. show. You need to dress as a pirate. <laughs> yes. And it's been, and it's been like a pirate. Oh, that's no <laughs> problem. That's no problem to me. I call that a set. <laughs> That would be perfect. Wait, you mean like yesterday? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I streamed a pirate game yesterday because it speak like a pirate day today, and I usually oh, stream it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna move on to our next topic before we get to, get too far on. Yeah, can't forget not confident. 